Ring the bell, Pat! Ring the bell! Hey! Marty is a great town! Oh, yeah. There you go. Got a Modelo. El Tiburon. Kilt rentals. Yeah, I can still get a kilt. Is this, uh, Should we go? Should we go get a kilt? Or... Look who we found. Philip Major Carno. General Carno. Philip Carney. Today we're in Kearney, New Jersey, and I brought my dad along. Hey. Born and raised in Kearney. So today we're gonna be walking around the town, checking it out. Join us. All right, go Kearney. All right, here we're in West Hudson Park. Yeah, beautiful park. I remember as a little kid running around here all the time. We're heading towards the Harrison border. Yep. Harrison borders Kearney. One of the things I always loved about Kearney is uh, the different types of food and cuisines you can get here, and it it keeps um, keeps getting you know more diverse, which is awesome. Um, this right here now it's Lucky Foo Restaurant, and uh, it used to be I think this used to be uh, Thompson's Fish and Chip. When I was a kid, there was five fish and chip uh, joints in Kearney, not including um, Arthur Treacher's. I don't know I don't know why they put that in there because it was a it was a chain restaurant, but anyway. So sadly, we're down to zero. Yeah, Kearney has a history of a lot of Scotch Irish. Yes. And uh, that's when fish and chip joints were very popular. But now they're all gone. They're all gone. Uh, luckily, um, uh, a shout out to Thistle. We live in Car we live yeah. in Lyndhurst, and uh, Thistle used to be in Kearney, and now it's in Lyndhurst. Yep. So. And it's a great stop. So yeah, stop and get a nice uh, fish and chip. Uh, yeah, first the fish. Keep it on. Is this a bar? Yeah, I don't. Know. Looks good. I might stop for a Modelo. Should we stop in? Yeah. Can we stop in? Let's All right. In. Well, here we're going to stop into this bar over here on Kearney Ave. Let's see what we find. Yep. Thank you. Here we are in El Tiburon. Hey, we got cheers. a Modelo. El Tiburon. In Kearney. <sighs> Trying a little ceviche here at uh, El Tiburon. All right, let's enjoy. That's good. Mm, that's really good. So we just ate at El Tiburon. You see my dad, he was born in 1965. When he was growing up in Kearney, there was a lot of Scotch-Irish. And now, you know, you see a bunch of Peruvian restaurants, Mexican restaurants. So that, the demographics have changed a lot in Kearney and that shows the, how America is constantly changing. So now we're going to see and explore how much Kearney has changed and also what the old times were like as well. We are now upon one of the most famous places in Kearney, perhaps the most famous place in Kearney. Right here. I don't see it though. Where is it? Where's Tony Soprano? <laughs> Satriel's pork store right here. Right here. No, right here. Right here? Right here. Right behind me. Right you should put chairs right here and I could just, you know, keep yeah. it and yeah. talk to people. But I got a funny right. anecdote about this. Okay. All right? um, <clears throat> my mom was still alive at the time, uh, probably around the year 2000 or whatever when so the Sopranos came out in what, 98, 99, somewhere around there. Anyway, so, you know, I'm, I'm living in Lyndhurst at the time and I used to always take mom to church and, uh, you know, I, I, I pick her up one day and I said, hey, I see there's a, there's a, a new pork store, a butcher shop in uh, in town. And she's like, ah, I heard that's for some TV show. <laughs> True story. They you should know. put a sign up. It? Yeah, yeah, to commemorate the old, uh, yeah. but it doesn't look like there's a sign around anywhere. Here's St. Cecilia's. All right, go Saints. There it is. My brother Tommy was a basketball legend at St. Cecilia's. Yep. Alright, Big Stashes. Here's some Big Stashes. subs in all the world, I, you know. Some, somebody mentions to me, what, Subway or what's the other one? Blimpy? I'm like, really? Really? Big Stashes. That's, yeah. That's, that's the best. Love. Local sub houses in New Jersey. Yeah. They beat any of the chains. That's right. And, uh, we're heading towards Argyle, which was the last fish and chip place that survived in Kearney right and it was sadly closed down in 2019 I think so, yeah 2019 know. you see kilt rentals yeah I could still get a Is kilt this, uh... Here we go. should we go get a kilt are we gonna try out some kilts <laughs> what do you think wow oh man wow 
I'm surprised it's still oh, that's, open. That's cool. Nice. So yeah, this is the, showing the old Carney here. Yeah. Kilt rentals, you see, they're only open two hours a day yeah. here. I credit growing up in Carney for being good with uh, talking to people who have accents. Yeah. Uh, the Scottish accent was really tough uh, to figure out. If you could figure that out, you figure, figure anything, anything out. Yeah. All right, this is uh, where Argyles used to be. The Casa it's or Piper's, Piper's Cove. Cove. Piper's Cove was a store next door. Yeah, yeah. And this was Argyle. This was Argyle. It's another ceviche place. Wow. Wow. That's, that's Here's a Peruvian restaurant. This is where Argyle was, which was the last fish and chip joint yep. in Kearney, New Jersey. Now, this used to be Ben Franklin, which was a five and dime, and now it's a dollar crazy. It shows the inflation. Kearney is a great town. It is. Yeah. It is. Look at 17. You, you, wow. You're going to be 89? Are you kidding? I was born here. Uh, you look. Like, I was born August 17, 1933. Get out. 7.40 a.m. St. Mary's Hospital for Oh my God, you look fantastic. <laughs> well, I, it's no. a bit of pleasure. What's your name? Yeah. Marion. Marion. What's your name? Jim and my son Bill. Bill. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my father's name was Bill. Oh my yeah? Father and my husband was Jim. Uh, well, there you go. That's yes, awesome. The local Carneyites. Yeah. But Donegal Saloon used to be Scotland Yard. What used to happen in front of Scotland Yard? <laughs> <laughs> Scotland Yard. Well, my brother Marty tells a funny story. He was working the night shift over in uh, Newark, and uh, he said he'd come home. I guess he was like working like four to twelve, so he'd be on the bus around twelve thirty, one o'clock. He seemed like every every time he drove by, there was a little action going on. Maybe a fist fight or something. Yeah. The cops were cop around. cars around breaking up fights. I don't know. The Scottish, you know, the Scottish they're people. fighters. Hey, we got some <laughs> Scottish blood in us, I'm sure. Um, across the street, uh, Scottish Stewart Scottish uh, Market. Yeah. Heading into Donegal Saloon. All right, here we are in Donegal Saloon. We got Guinness, Carney, New Jersey. Nice job. Boring. Cheers. Uh, wait, it's dirty though. Oh, it is dirty. We have to wait to drink it. You should have filmed it. I'm filming. Dad's gonna get a bell. Bell. Ring the bell, Dad! Bell! Hey! Oh! 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 That was great. All right. That we were awesome. in Donegal Saloon. That was what a time at Donegal. We had a couple Down beers. Donegal. What a great. Uh, great stop. It was uh, quite the adventure. Yeah, it was awesome. Quite the uh, time. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Brothers Bakery sadly is closed. Yeah, sadly. Best rolls. The rolls are the I best know. for years. I know. It used to be Bobers initially. Yeah. And then it was Brothers. Yep. Very sad. You see, at least we can film it before it's a new place. Yeah. Before we, uh, you know. And plus. It's available retail space. Retail. If anyone wants to buy a Brothers and restore it. Call these guys. Yes. How long has it been here? Oh, God. It's, it's, I mean, I was born in 1965. I'm assuming it was Bowers at here. that point. Yeah. But, you know, people that ask are my brothers and sisters. Right? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Damn. Well, farewell. Very sad. Farewell. All right, if you've watched some of my son's other videos of other towns, one thing he always does, because when we're out on a trip or whatever, I always love to go check out churches. But sadly, I don't think you've ever been... Never able, gotten in one. Maybe that's Never COVID. gotten in one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if let's uh, see. Grace Methodist... You well, have the well, magic touch, in. Dad? I doubt, I doubt they're going to let us in. That, that uh, seems pretty. No. Let's go over here. There's another one. All right. I think that was in this church Mul once for some reason. Multiple entrances. Uh, locked, locked. Nope. All right, well, Grace Methodist. Well, one day we're going to have to start breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we found the town hall. Yeah, here we go. Carney. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Uh, it's a nice looking town hall. Yeah, but I remember they had, uh, I think it was right here, they had, they dedicated, and it was, let's see, 40, 47 years ago, could that be possible? Uh, Ed Halicki, who was a Carney kid, threw a no-hitter. Uh, in uh, against the Mets and it was I don't know how many years ago it was 40 some years ago uh, and they they called this Corny Ave at Hulaki Boulevard for like a week huh yeah 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure when what yeah. year it was. It was sometime in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Um, Damn. But anyway. That's interesting. Yeah. Right down that way, two blocks down, make a right. That's where I, I grew up. Yep. Devon Street. Devon Street. All right. Here we're coming to Veterans. What is it? Uh, it's a Veterans or Military Park. Okay. It's probably a Military Park, I guess. We're coming to a. Memorial Park. We're gonna see what we can find there. All right. Yeah. This is uh, here. We World have. War II, I think. Yeah. World War II. This one is World War II. All the brave souls. Yeah. Wow. So six thousand men and women from the town of Kearney. They served. Yeah, yeah. served. But these are the guys. Whoever. Yeah. These are the ones that passed. Yeah. Oh, here's the time capsule. The right time there. capsule. Time capsule. I can't wait to get be here when it's open. Yep. In on October twentieth, uh, twenty sixty seven. Uh, my brother Marty actually has some stuff in buried in here. I guess from his class at uh, Saint Cecilia's. Yeah. It's probably in like first grade. Very. But he cool. remembers putting stuff. In, you know, getting stuff to be put in. Right. Carney honor roll. Here we go. We got Korea, Vietnam. And Iraq and Afghanistan. Wow. <clears throat> wow. And this is the World War One. Yeah, here it is, the World War One. Their Memorial. names no, I'm sorry, their names shall be mm -hmm. as imperishable as the justice of our cause. Wow. Amen. Very old looking post office here in Kearney on Midland Ave. And look who we found. Yeah, Major General Philip Carney. Major Carnel. General Carnel. Philip Carney. There he is. Died in the Civil War. Yep. In Midland Ave, this is like heading over there is the manor. Yep. Section, the ritzy section, I guess you would call. <laughs> but no, a lot of beautiful homes in the manor. All right, so we're coming to the stinking Lincoln. <laughs> Affection. The Lincoln known. Theater. Yep. But. Affectionately known as the Stinking Lincoln. Yeah. Sadly, it closed down. Yep. Well, you remember Monday? going to the Stinking Lincoln. Oh, 100%. Right? I've been here a bunch of times. Yep. Okay, Time yeah. To reopen the Stinking Lincoln. Come on. The Stinking Lincoln. Yes. I'm going to go get some popcorn. They have all, all these old movie posters. Yeah. Anything in there? No one has touched this place wow. for like seven yeah. years, probably. I know. Wow. Is that like, it's like a tree. tree branches, yeah. Interesting. All right, well, it's gone, but not forgotten. Yep. There's the border. The border. The other side is North Arlington, but I think, Bill, you might consider doing a part two. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, this was fun. You know, but I don't know if we hit enough of Carney. I don't think we did, but put in the comments. Yeah, to, to put in the comments <laughs> if we should film a part two to this video. That's right. Put you in know, the and also where we should see and and Carney and correct any of uh, if I uh, misspoke on anything. Correct <laughs> any of the mistakes. <laughs> All right. My, my memory isn't as uh, strong as it always, as it used to be. Exactly. Anyway. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah. until next time.